Wilds and welcome to Gordon Guitar. We have this song called I'm a Mess and it's a collaboration between Avril Lavigne and Youngblood. What a great match there. They almost feel like brother and sister or yeah, whatever. But they also feel very messy. That's what they sing about. But anyway, a great song from these two. So let's go over this one. And we need to start to set our capo here on the first fret to have the easiest chords possible. So let's do that and let's go over the five chords we need. So let's start with C. That is third on A, second on D, open G, first B and open E. Then we have the D minor seven. So that is open D, second G, first B, and first E. And I use a little bar here on the B and E string, all right? With my index finger. Next chord, F. So you will have a bar here over all strings now this time, and the rest will be third on A, third on D, and second on G. And the bar will be here, of course, on the first fret, if I didn't mention that. So that's the F. Then we have the A minor. So that is open A, second D, second G, first B, and open E. And the final chord will be G. So that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. Alright, so before we start the corporation all that, we'll learn this strumming pattern that will work almost through entire song, okay? And F will be the chord which you're gonna play a full strumming pattern on. Uh, so grab the F, even if that's not the first chord, we will use that to illustrate the strumming pattern. So one full round will sound like this. And it needs to be divided into two different parts because chords will split on this uh, strumming pattern. So the first part will be down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. And as soon as you play up, try to mute the strings. So just put your hand on top of the strings to uh, get it muted, okay? So, down, 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 up, mute. And then you continue with up, down, 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 up. Up, down, 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 up. And in the same way here, try to mute right after the last up there, so up, down, mutes and that's the part two so part one down 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 up and then part two up down 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 up like this okay so now we're ready for the song it will start here with this intro uh, you're gonna play C part one then D minor seven part two and then F one full strumming the second round it will be starting the same way C part one D minor seven part two and then just one down on F so that is the intro like this and then starts the first verse Okay, so this one will continue pretty much in the same way. We're gonna have four rounds of that corporation C part one, D minor part two, and F one full round. So four rounds of that, and then you're just gonna play one down on A minor, one down on G, and one down on F. And that's the whole verse. So let's go over four rounds of the strumming for this corporation C, D minor, and F. And then A minor, one down, G one down, and F one down, like this. That is your first verse. 
Okay, that takes us to the course. Okay, so pretty much nothing new here. You're gonna play same strumming pattern here for C, D minor, and F. You're gonna play that for five rounds now. We don't have to go over all these five rounds. We know that by now. And then you're gonna end with a final six round of the same chord, C, D minor, and F, but just one down per chord. So in total, six rounds of this chord progression, five rounds of strumming, and the last round, one down for each chord. So C, D minor, and F. All right. That takes us to the second verse, and that is played in the same way as the first verse, so nothing changes there. And the, almost the same case with the second chorus, played in the same way, but one difference there in the end. The last chord here, the last round, you can play C one down, D minor one down, and on the F, you're gonna play eight fast downs, and it's kind of a build up for the next part which is a bridge so c d minor and f one two three four one two three four like a build up for the next part so that's the second course and speaking of the next part that's the bridge in the lyrics all oh, cause i know that i have my issues and so on okay now i actually see that we forgot one chord and that is the e minor so i will show you that chord now and it's played only at this point here one time on the bridge and that is open e second a second d open g open b and open e sorry my bad there but that's the e minor and now you have it so this one is a little bit different when it comes to timing and so on you i think you need to listen to the song a couple of times to really nail the timing i'm going to show you how to do it technically so you're going to play the d minor you're going to do down up down up pretty fast like this and then a longer pause and then you go to this e minor and play just one down and then you play the f down up down up in the same way and then a long pause and then you're gonna play A minor with a new strumming pattern, uh, and it's down, 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 up. So almost as part one in the strumming pattern. So down, 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 up. Okay, you're gonna play that for two strumming rounds on A minor. So. Switch, uh, switch to G and play the same strumming for two strumming rounds. Okay, that all this um, we learned so far in the bridge part is kind of one chord progression. You're going to do that for two rounds and it's almost the same on the second round. The only difference there is the ending here, the last chord, the G, instead of playing these two rounds of the strumming down and down and up, you're gonna play eight fast downs. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's a build up in the same way as the ending of the second chorus. So that is the bridge part. I'm gonna take you through this slowly and you're gonna see how it's done. So first, just, uh, um, yeah, I want to summarize everything, how it's done. So the D minor seven, down, up, down, up, pause, and then E minor, one down, and then F, down, up, down, up, and then pause, and then A minor, two rounds of down, 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 up, and then G, two rounds of down, 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 up. Everything times two there, and uh, except from the last ending there, the G chord, eight fast downs instead of two rounds of the strumming. So it goes like this. part and that takes us to the final part of the song the last chorus 
you're gonna play one down per chord for C, D minor, and F. So it starts like this. And a longer pause after F, since it's twice as long as the other two chords. And then you're gonna play the strumming pattern for the same chords like we learned before C part one, D minor part two, and F one full round for four chord pressure rounds. And then you just gonna end with one down on the C and let that C ring out. And that, my friends, covers I'm a Miss for Levine and Youngblood song there. So, hope this was helpful. That's my goal, and I'm happy if I uh, succeed with that. And uh, yeah, if it was, please let me know. Give me a thumb up. And yeah, of course, subscribe if you haven't yet. What are you waiting for? Great songs on Gordon Guitar. And until next time, guys. Play tuned.